Hey guys, let's fix this issue quickly and effectively. In the first step, we need to go to search bar, type here CMD and simply on the command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. Select as. Once we are here, we need to execute the commands. So type all these commands carefully and hit enter to execute them. Type in NET SH Winsock reset and hit enter. Then type in IP config space slash flush DNS. Then type in IP config space slash renew. And in the last command, type in NETSH INTIP reset and hit enter. Once done, type exit. And simply, we need to right click on the start icon, go to device manager. Okay, my bad. Simply go to the device manager, then expand network adapters. Right click on to the particular device, open properties, go to drivers tab, click on update driver and simply select the first option and the best drivers will be installed automatically. Once done, just close all windows one by one and open the control panel. Now we need to select view by as a category. If you selected large icons, then change it to category. Then click on network and internet select network and sharing center then open the your connection click on properties select internet protocol version 4 that is ipv4 just select it right click on it or you can just click on properties and you need to select the option opt-in and ip address automatically again opt-in dns server address automatically and click on ok simply restart your system and your problem will be solved that's it guys you can also check out our description link to fix this issue quickly and effectively and yeah you're good to go